Hello everybody, thank you for joining me on this trip. Uh, we're celebrating 10,000 subscribers today, so I just want to thank you guys again for helping me reach this milestone. Uh, tonight, I'm going to build just a natural shelter, and uh, probably, I'm going to try to make this uh, video at least an hour long. You know, I try to cut out most of the boring stuff, um, but you guys have been telling me that you want longer videos, so uh, we'll see how long I make this. It may be even longer than that, so we'll see. But uh, anyways, let's get where we're going. I decided to take a different way to get to my spot to see if I could run into some bigger birch trees. That way I can get a little bit bigger pieces of birch bark. And I found the trees I was looking for, but I also found this. Got us a tent here with a bunch of beer bottles and beer cans all around. I don't know if you can see those. Uh, looks like they've been here for a while. All the beer cans and stuff, they're all pretty faded, so... <sighs> You know, you get to use public land and you do stuff like this. I'm not like trying to preach. I'm just saying, just clean up after yourselves. I'm going to go ahead and clean some of this up because I'm only probably about, oh, maybe seven or eight minutes away from the road. So I'm going to throw all the beer cans and stuff inside of this and just kind of hike it out of here when I'm done, of course. Better make sure there ain't no dead body in it. Well, oh, we're good. You laugh, but that has happened out here before. We got Miller. We got Miller Lite. Tito's. Somebody had a party. Coors. Bud Light, damn. Get all these steaks picked up. Now these birch trees aren't much thicker in diameter than the other ones but I notice I can peel off a lot bigger sheets of bark on this one this is one of the easiest ways to start a fire find a birch tree peel off some of the bark it won't hurt the tree any I also like to use tulip poplar which here in the eastern woodlands it's pretty easy to find but for me this is a lot easier so we'll just go with this put this in my pocket and get to camp All right, here we are. I want to apologize in advance. There's a conservation club not far from here. And today there must be some kind of shooting competition or something going on, because in the distance I can hear a lot of gunshots. I think there was one just right there. Yeah, but I only mention that because this microphone, it's a pretty good microphone. It can pick up the sound of a fly farting. So I apologize. Anyways, let's put this right here right now. Alright, and I'm gonna have to take this off because it's like 45 degrees right now. It's gonna get cold tonight. It's gonna be below freezing tonight, but right now it's not too bad. I've got my council tools axe. Uh, looks a little different than the last time you've seen it. I took some brown leather dye and just darkened it up a little bit. What was bugging me about it was when I got it on this side, it was a darker wood and on this side it was really light. It just must have been where they had cut it. And 
for some reason it was bothering me it shouldn't have been bothering me but it was so I just took some brown leather dye and put that on there and uh, I always anytime I'm done I'll take roasted walnut oil and just kind of coat the handle the sheath and the blade just to keep the wood from drying out and plus it gives it, it plus it just makes it look nice but anyways I'm gonna hang my pack up <coughs> Got some snacks. Stay there. Some good old beef jerky. I couldn't find my camp pillow, so I stole my son's race car pillow. I hope he ain't too mad at me. Here's my food for tonight and in the morning. trying to get to my paracord I should have put it in last because I knew I was gonna use it first but whatever this is just my Mora knife it's got a ferro rod on the end of it as far as hanging my pack I'm going to do a bowling knot sometimes I'll use a Canadian jam knot just depends on what I feel like doing so I'll give you a close up of this bowling knot here. I always kind of feel bad about trying to teach you guys stuff because like I've always said, I'm not an expert in any of this because I know there's going to be people out there like, oh, there's a better way to do it, which I understand, but you know, we all have our own way of doing things. But anyways, you put a little loop here like so, go through the hole, go behind the rope and then go back through that same hole and then just tighten everything up we'll do a marlin hitch knot I hope I can show it on camera pretty good but anyways you do another loop and then just fold it over on top of the main line and then what I'll do is shove a stick through there and tighten it down and then I can put this through the top of my backpack and hang that down. There we go. Now I can get to everything real easy. Everything's pretty wet out here, so I'm not too worried about the fire spreading. I am going to move all the leaves out of the way though, because I'm going to build a fire reflector. Oh, I don't know, probably not too far in front of the camera right there. I normally go about a, a step and a half, so I'll take a step and then about another half a step. So I'll normally put the fire about a step and a half away. So, yeah, it's going to be a good night. You know, I honestly can't thank you guys enough for getting to 10,000 subscribers. On my last video, we celebrated a year on YouTube, and this year we're celebrating 10,000, so... You know, I have a lot of goals for this year. I definitely want to be more consistent with my videos. I know uh, last year I had a little stretch there for like three months where I didn't come out with any videos. Um, the only thing I probably like more than bushcraft camps and being out in the woods is probably being on the water. So during the summertime, I do a lot of bass fishing. I made a couple of bass fishing videos. Um, they didn't do as well, but I think that's just a combination of poor camera skills. I didn't really know what I was doing. I still don't really know what I'm doing, but you know, I'm I, with each video I'm learning and I'm hoping that each video gets better. You know, there's some duds, it happens. I need to get new uh blades for this. This one's starting to get a little dull. But a lot of the things that I need for this shelter are right in this area, and most of the wood is, is very dead so I should be able to easily break a lot of the stuff that I need but we'll see as far as all the sticks that I'm going to use for the, the lean to here I'm probably just going to use a lot of, I can't even talk today I can probably get a lot of a lot of it off of this tree that's fell over on this big one here
probably make it, yeah, probably about like that. Break this, oh, I didn't need to break it off, okay. Basically just go around and whatever length it is, kind of just put it against there. Hold on, let's get that stick out of the way. There's a good one. Let's see, that one probably go right next to that one. more small ones here I'll just go down and wherever it makes sense to put them that's where I'll put them let's see there's one oh let's see about like that I really only need half of this you know I'm not very tall I'm only like five foot nine but I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way down to this tree here and all the way down to that tree that's leaning just to kind of keep the wind out. Uh, I don't know if you guys care or not, but I told you guys last week that I was down five pounds and right now I'm down a total of eight. So, and that was over the holiday season. I did pretty good. I didn't totally gorge myself, but so in the past, I want to say three weeks, two and a half weeks, I've lost eight pounds, which is a pretty good I don't want to lose it too quick that's unhealthy so yeah I'll probably lose a couple more today building this thing I'm just gonna walk around and try to find a bunch of thick sticks see what I can find already on the ground and then if I need to cut some stuff I will nice long stick here that you get a bunch of shorter ones with let's see let's put this one right there all right, slowly but surely, here's another one. Let's see, that should, I should probably switch that one and put this one right there. Yep, there we go. All right. This was laying on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up. Let's see. We'll go about right there. It's slowly coming together. I don't know why I always plan for my videos because things always end up changing. But I think I'm gonna take some of these smaller sticks and come on, work with me here. And maybe just enclose that area, bring it to about right here. And instead of being out like this way, I'll sleep in here. I'll have my fire reflector right here. And then I'll just kind of, let's see. Let's see how far I need to be here. Okay. Clear that out with my toe. A little past that. And then I'll take the smaller ones and kind of put in here to block this off. And just have like a little corner here butt it up against this tree and on this 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 ain't gonna fall on me this stuff's pretty solid it ain't going nowhere this isn't hanging on a tree it's actually leaning on that hill up there so I'm not too worried about it falling on me but we're gonna change it up just a little bit
And I'll fill in all these gaps here with with leaves and stuff. So we should be good. Thanks for that. There we go. And I'll have them kind of at an angle there. All the way down to about right here. Yeah, where's my foot mark? Right there. So yeah, ain't got too much further to go. Down here, I'm just gonna put a lot of bark over here. A bunch of bark laying around that fell off of this tree here. So I'm gonna use that to try to fill in the gaps. Here's a good piece. Oh, well, I thought it was, but it'll work. So here's what I've done. Everything's pretty solid in this corner here. Uh, I just got a few more feet this way that I need to go. And then uh, I'll go get some pine limbs, kind of throw it on top of it, and it should be pretty well insulated. I probably got another 20 minutes or so on this. I probably spent about 30 minutes on it so far. It's not my best work, but it'll do its job. Oh yeah. Whew. Have my fire right there. Fire reflector, pushing all that heat back this way. Uh, I just need to, it's about a minute walk that way to the pine trees. I'm gonna go get a bunch of pine limbs and kinda throw on top here, cover up all the gaps, make it rain proof that way in case it does decide to rain even though there's zero percent chance but when it comes to that, you never know. I think in this area is where I'm gonna set up next time. Nice open area here. Hold on. Nice open area, plenty of stuff to work with. Looks like this tree fell not too long ago. Just gonna gather up a bunch of these limbs here. probably have to make two or three trips over here. 
I want to make sure that I get a nice space for my bed as well. I'm trying to get the ones that have a lot. It's really thick. make two or three trips. Maybe even more, I'm not sure. thinking that I'll probably have to have to make two more trips and grab enough pine for this side and then maybe just one for my bed so we're running out of daylight let me see what time it is I bet it's about getting close to four 356 so I probably got an hour and a half left of daylight still got to build a fire reflector so I'm just gonna hurry up and get this done and a half now I would have much rather have just gotten full-blown sick for a day or two and gotten it over with uh. maybe after staying out here tonight in the cold I will You know, this isn't actually as uncomfortable as you may think. Oh. I put a thick layer of pine down to stop convection. Whew. That in combination with this 100% wool blanket, I should be good and warm. Whew. I've only got couple hours of daylight left and I still have to build a fire reflector and clear all this out I haven't even really started to get any wood yet but that tree earlier that I was talking about that I was gonna there's some them damn shots again anyways they quit for a while and then they started again but anyways this little tiny tree that's on top of this one that should give me plenty of wood for the night but before I get started on anything else I'm gonna Give me some water. 
I didn't bring any with me, but I did bring a water filter. One of these deals. This water here is actually pretty clean. And you could probably just use a bandana to filter it and then boil it and it'd, it'd be fine. Tastes like water. All right, I'm good to go then. chop some of this off. Okay. Probably about right. Right here. I don't want it too tall. Use that for firewood. Let's see. That one right there. Well, let me flatten that out a little bit. There we go. That'll do. And it doesn't have to be perfect, of course. Get that one back. One more. Ooh. All right.
ground is really soft. It rained the past couple days. So I'm gonna go ahead and move some of these leaves out of the way and get my fire started. And all these leaves around here, surrounding it, I'll clean all that up later. Uh, I'm not too worried about the fire spread and everything is pretty soaked. But just to make sure, I'll get all these leaves out of the way. Or a majority of them anyways. Okay, now what I've done is gathered up some bark here. I'm gonna make a base, a base here on this wet ground. You can use sticks, you can use pieces of wood. There's just a lot of bark laying around, so I decided to go ahead and use it. Now, all these smaller pieces that are smaller than my thumb, I'm going to put at an angle. I'm gonna separate as I go. That's a little bigger than my thumb. That's a little bigger. I'll throw that into a separate pile. And I'll just break all this down. It doesn't have to be perfect. Fire likes chaos, so, you know, the crazier you get it, the better, I guess, if that makes any sense. I'm not the best at explaining things, but I'm sure with time I'll get better at it. But anyways, we're just going to make a nice V here. Man, I tell you, those people over there at that conservation club must have a lot of money because I've been here for a few hours and they have been shooting this entire time. And ammo ain't cheap. I'm gonna go through this whole pile of sticks that I have here. I'm just gonna leave a nice opening right here so I can put my tender. I didn't record a lot of stuff because I'm running out of daylight here and I want to start cooking here soon so the camera actually does take a little bit of time to operate it does add quite a bit of work to your day but that's okay I really enjoy doing this I'm motivated more than ever to keep coming out here to do stuff because I got 10,000 subscribers and I'll probably say thank you like 60 times during this video because I really do appreciate it. I am really humble about it. So, once again, thanks. Put them on top. See, that one's pretty thick, so we'll throw that off to the side. rock and roll here soon now all that birch that I collected earlier right there we're just gonna throw it right in here this is just a ferro rod it's about six inches long and a half inch thick 
I took some duct tape, put a little handle on there, because I like to pull the ferro rod to me instead of the knife down. I'll anchor that and just pull. There it goes. Now, at this point, bring everything on top. Maybe close it in a little bit. Allow some air to get in through the front there, of course. And I'll take the rest of my little sticks and just kind of throw them on here. gonna let that burn down for a minute oh, I got some buffalo patties to cook up I'm gonna make a double buffalo burger there's a lot of things that I wanted to get done today uh, I'm still gonna do the Q&A that I announced on my community page or whatever you want to call it um, we're gonna do that tomorrow but it's just hard to believe that a year has flown by and in that year you know, I've gained 10,000. You know, I'm not bragging at all. You know, there's a lot of YouTubers that have gained that in one hour, you know. But, uh, you know, when I first started this channel, I started doing these videos, I thought, eh, you know, I'll be happy with like 500 subscribers by the end of the year. You know, that was my goal, and we beat that. I don't really know what my goal should be for this year. You know, I'd say we should shoot for the moon and maybe go after a hundred thousand. Will it happen? Chances are probably not. But hey, we can dream. I've got a lot of new gear today. Um, this pack is called a Wenzel. Uh, I was walking through Meyer, and I every time I go to the store, I got to check out the camping department. And these are normally forty-five bucks. It was on sale. Uh, for only $12 and I picked it up and one reason I like it is because it looks a lot like a Hidden Woodsman pack uh, Hidden Woodsman obviously is a lot better uh, Malcolm up there in New England he hand makes all of his packs one of these days I'm gonna get one of those but this looks a lot like it and the material it's not bad it'll hold up a little bit but for $12 or $10 whatever it was I paid for it it'll do just fine oh. Um, you know, a lot of I've seen a lot of comments that people are like, "Man, you must have made a lot of money on YouTube," because I had a couple videos that did very well. The first one that did very well was my second video I ever came out with, and at that time I wasn't approved for monetization, so you know I didn't get any money off of that. But what that video did do for me was it gave me the 4,000 hours watch time that I needed, and it got me over a thousand. Uh, it got me over a thousand subscribers so that's one thing that video did for me and by the time YouTube approved me and all that the, the you know the views have pretty much slowed down slowed down at that point sorry I can't talk tonight my throat's a little sore I've been coughing the past week but one thing I bought was this new light that goes on top of the camera it definitely helps out I've wanted to sh shoot a lot of nighttime stuff but it never turns out looking okay so hopefully with with that light it's really bright it'll it'll help out one thing I want to say before I forget because well let me back up you know throughout the week I'm thinking about you know like what kind of video do I want to make or what am I gonna say and a lot of times by the time I get to the editing the video I'm like dang it I meant to say this or I meant to I meant to do this or I meant to do that. There's always regret with everything, but you know, one thing I wanted to make sure to tell you guys is since the beginning, there's been quite a few of you that are always watching. You're always commenting. You've been there since the beginning. And uh, you know, I just want you to know, I know who you are. I'm not gonna name them all because there's too many of them to name, but uh, I know who you are and you know who you are. And uh, thank you for everything. Alright, this is burning down quite a bit, so I'm going to get my skillet ready. i got a brand new skillet. 
Made in Japan, actually. Let's see. Where you at? Where you at? I need to be a little bit better organized. Come on. There you are. I bought this skillet here. It was a little pricey, but this is definitely something that I'll bring with me all the time. Where is it? There it is. Got these little screws. You got to make your own handle, which I'm going to go find me a stick and do that right now. I'll be right back. Okay. The knife I'm using is just a Mora. I'm not even sure what the, the brand is. or I know the brand. It's Mora, but the type of knife. But one reason I picked it up, it was $30 and it came with a ferro rod. thought that was pretty neat but nice and sharp all right so like that off by the time I get this handle carved it should be about time to start cooking I just I don't know I'm just kind of shocked with everything because you know I even took three months off in the summer. I didn't even come out with a video in the summertime, you know, and it, it, that that hurt, of course. But I just kind of regret it because, like, maybe I could have been a little higher. But you know, I'm the kind of person that's that's happy with the with what I got. So I'm pretty high. I'm pretty happy with it. One of these days, I won't be so weird around the camera. I kind of talk funny. I don't know. Shave down a little bit. A little more. Hold on, I'm about to take take this off for a minute. Whew. Maybe just a tad bit more on this side. There we go. Alright, it came with a couple screws here. If I don't lose them. those back in my pocket I came with two probably because they knew that I would lose one eventually All right. just screw it into the wood Should be sturdy. It's not exactly a super tight fit, but as long as I'm careful, nothing should happen. All right. I'll go ahead and throw that on there. Actually, we'll wait because right here's my food. And last I checked, I meant to throw these patties in the uh, in the fridge to. To unthaw them because I only needed two of them. It comes in a package of four. Oh wait, these are elk patties. I bought buffalo patties and I bought elk patties. So apparently I can't read. I grabbed the wrong one. But oh well, it's probably gonna taste good. I got some Kobe Jack cheese to go with them and bacon and eggs in the morning. Of course, I always gotta have my bacon and eggs. All right. Put this back in there before I drop it in the dirt. Whew. Well, they look like regular patties. Let's see. Ah. 
There we go. One more time. All right. Now, I'll throw that on there. Well, it never fails. I always forget something. Oh, I put a little spatula, a wooden spatula in there, but I forgot it. Oh well, we'll figure it out one way or another. I don't really have time to, to carve one. I don't really. It takes a while to do that, so I'll just make do with what we got. I'll see if I can flip it with my knife or something. I don't know. It never fails. I always forget something. I think it's a, it has a lot to do with, you know, I, I'm always so busy. Like, I got out here late like I always do. I wanted to be out here by like 9 o'clock in the morning. But I didn't get here till 1, 30, 1, something like that. And a lot of it is because I, uh, you know, I drive a truck for a living. Some days I get back sooner than others. And last night I didn't get back till like 8 o'clock. And, you know... By the time I had went to bed, I had been up for like 22 hours, and I just couldn't get up, you know. Apparently, my wife, she tried to wake me up a few times, and I guess I wouldn't budge. She said if she didn't see me breathing, she didn't see my belly moving up and down, that she would have thought I was dead, but I was just tired, so I slept in today, and then by the time I got everything in the car, and drove over here, and then hiked in here, and that seems to be a theme with me. I'm always kind of late getting started. But hey, better late than never, I guess. It smelled good, that's for sure. Kick that up just a little bit. Yeah, I think this uh, pan, it cost me 70 bucks. That's one thing I've done with the money that I have made from YouTube. I've put all my money back into the channel. And it hasn't been a lot. It's probably not as lot as you think. But I put it back in. I bought this. I think this was 70 bucks, which is a lot for a pan. But it's really nice, and it's something I would use a lot. It takes up less space than that other one I had. And just... Just trying to get a little bit better gear. I'm not. I'm still not going to tell you. You know, you need to get the most expensive crap. You know, you can do everything. You can do everything you want to out here with stuff from Walmart. But you know, I'm just going to upgrade my stuff slowly and surely. You know, maybe one of these years I can do YouTube full time. I don't see it happening anytime soon. You know, I've got a pretty good job. I drive a truck, I'm home three days a week. Right now, I get Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays off. That's why I normally, I'll come out on Saturday, stay over till Sunday. Sunday when I get home, I'll normally edit the video and uh, try to I try to get them out Sunday nights. It doesn't always happen that way, but, and then that normally leaves Monday for me to, uh, you know, hang out with the kids and the wife and family and all that. So, that's normally what my schedule looks like. We're changing routes here soon. And I'm going to try to get one that still gets me off three days in a row. Um, there's a lot of them that has like, uh, you work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know if I'd like that day off in between. I worked that schedule at a previous company and I was not a fan of it. So... Yeah, I'm going to make a go at it. You know, I'm going to keep coming out with videos. Uh, I wish I was a little bit more consist consistent. I try to come out with one every week, but looking back through my channel, normally every month I come out with like three videos every month. So I'll like, I'll come out with a video three weeks in a row and then it'll be two weeks. I wish I could get it to where, you know, I did it every single week, but things happen.
I've got some longer logs over there where I stayed when I made that poacher's camp about a month ago or three weeks ago. And I'm thinking I may go over there because there's still some logs left over that I cut up. I might turn this into a nice long fire, keep me uh, nice and cozy all night. All right, I think it's time for the cheese. is just kind of throw it on the grill here or on the skillet give it a head start on melting I didn't bring no onions or tomatoes or anything like that. It's juicy. Here we go. Hmm. Tastes like elk. I've ate elk before and that's what it tastes like. So it's the real deal. It's a little tougher than a beef hamburger, but it's still good nonetheless. thing that would make it even better some barbecue sauce which of course I forgot that too Tomorrow I got a couple muffins, some bacon, a couple eggs. <clears throat> Man, I gotta get this fire kicked back up. Oh, gotta get off my butt to do it, I guess. Put a couple sticks in the ground here in front of this log. Hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it doesn't roll over on me as I'm sleeping.
swallows beauty. somebody come and say hello to me at night normally a turkey what are you circling me I can barely see you but I know you're right above my head don't poop on me better close my mouth I just took a couple of long logs here and just kind of smashed all the coals together in between them. Kind of turned it into a long fire a little bit. It's uh, not a traditional long fire. I've done those before. Um, I just like to do different stuff, you know. I don't want to get bored with this. I don't want you guys to get bored with this. Um, I know you've seen it all, probably. I'm probably not the only bushcraft channel that you watch, but... You've probably seen it all, but I like to just do different things. I like to start fires in different ways. I like to start different types of fires, you know. But tonight I'll turn this into a long fire. I'm pretty close to the fire. It should stay nice and warm. Although it's still pretty warm out. It's not that cold out. Overnight it is going to get cold, though. I forgot to mention earlier the brand of this. It's called Sawyer. I got it at Walmart actually. And if I remember right, I think it says it could filter up to like 300,000 gallons or 100,000 gallons. I can't remember. But I got this water out of the creek. I've been sipping on it all day. It tastes like water. Every once in a while, I'll get like an occasional like dirt taste but it's not bad so <coughs> I thought my cough was going away there for a minute but it's not bad it tastes like filtered water <sighs> yeah, I'll definitely keep that in my pack uh, there's also a way that you can clean this out to where you don't have to keep buying filters you can just clean the filter out it came with a syringe that helps you clean it and uh, it says when you're not using it just keep a little bit of bleach water in this so when I get home tomorrow I'll rinse it out and then just put a little tiny bit of bleach water in it and then of course whenever I want to use it again I'll clean all that out and uh, yeah I'm definitely going to take this to the uh, Pathfinder school with me uh, I go in March I'm doing the basic survival class and <coughs> I'm not 100% sure what to expect. I've watched other videos on guys that have went. And pretty much you're going to have a heavy pack. And you're going to be in the woods all day. And I don't want to put a bunch of bottles of water in my pack. You know, I don't. I'm going to try to make it as light as possible. I still got a couple, couple well, I got like, like 11 weeks or something like that. 10 weeks. And I'm just going to use this. There's going to be plenty of water around. And uh, it's going to be March, so I know the, the water will be, you know, nice and cool. So, yeah, I'm definitely taking this with me. But I'm done with this, and I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and put it up. A lot of times right before I go to bed, I'll figure out what I'm not going to use the next day and go ahead and load it all up. It's less for me to do in the morning. Not that I'm in a hurry to ever get out of the woods, 
but I am in a hurry to get the video edited. It takes a long time to edit a video. And it's not so much a long time to edit the video as it is you got to process the video. When it's done, it's got to be saved to the computer, which takes forever. And then you have to... Um, Then you have to upload it to YouTube, which takes forever because where I live, I don't, I can't get internet access because I live way too far out. So I have to use the hotspot on my phone. And then if I run out of hotspot, which I can normally upload a, a couple videos using only my hotspot, uh, I use my wife's hotspot. So I think we get like 20 gigs a month a piece for hotspot, and it does okay. But it takes a few hours to upload a video. So I'm always kind of in a hurry to get going in the morning just so I can get home, get started on editing. Because I know a lot of you guys look forward to seeing these videos. And I always look forward to to, to talking with you and, and returning the comments. That's the only thing I'm kind of hating about growing is because it's getting a lot harder to, um, to uh, return, to reply to all the comments. I don't know why I can't I can't talk today. I can't think either. But it's taking you know it's, it's getting harder to reply to all the comments. And uh, but like I said earlier, uh, I I'm, I won't forget you guys. You know you guys have been there with me since the beginning. And uh, you know I'm, I'm hoping to keep growing. But I do know that there is some stuff that happens when you get when you start growing. You know. And the worst thing to me is, you know, I try to get to everybody's comment or at least leave a heart to let you know that I read it because I do care. Oh. I was laying down on my blanket over there a little bit ago and I about fell asleep then. Oh. get this kicked up a little bit higher I'm gonna go get some more sticks and kind of stuff in here to get it going really hot that'll help me get to sleep and I will see you guys in a little bit part right here and just kind of lay down and relax think about what you've accomplished today I gotta get my nice comfy socks on here in a minute Actually, I think I'll go ahead and do that now. Once I lay back down, I don't want to get up until, of course, I wake up because I'm cold and have to get the fire going again. Oh. These are just some... Uh, real tree I got a lot of real tree stuff and these are merino wool it's very important whenever you're camping to change your socks for ooh, hello to uh, change your socks before you go to bed get a nice clean dry pair of socks on make sure they're a good pair of wool socks too I'll go ahead and move those right there. Put these smelly socks somewhere. Just throw those over there. stare at my feet but this is important
starting to pick up a little bit. Get this knife off my belt. That right there. every night I normally don't record it because I normally don't have a light and I'm actually I didn't bring extra batteries this is my first time using it I didn't realize that it went through batteries so quickly I even got good batteries the ones that are in that are like energizers and I can tell it's a lot dimmer than what it was earlier so I can tell the batteries are going low on that so from now on I'll keep an extra set of batteries in there a lot of times I don't record the nighttime stuff because there's just not enough light to do it. So, yeah. I also need to invest in some more batteries too. I have three batteries for the camera and they're all, they don't last very long. You know, I've wanted to make really long videos in the past, but I can't, I have to be kind of picky about what I record because I know my batteries don't last long. I did bring a couple power packs with me to where as one dies I can recharge it I've got two of them charging now I've got I've only got one battery left so as I wake up tomorrow the other two should be pretty charged be enough for me to do all the things I want to do tomorrow there's a lot I want to talk about tomorrow uh, tonight was just kind of getting everything set up cooking relaxing tomorrow I'll get up make some coffee Cook me some bacon and eggs, of course, like I always do. And then uh, gonna do a Q&A. You guys have sent me a lot of questions. And I'm gonna try to answer them all. Uh, I apologize in advance if I don't get to your question. There's a lot of them, so. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna relax here for a little bit and I'll see you in the morning. I actually slept for a couple hours. That's not bad. I just do another piece on there. So, the wind's really picked up. The reason I woke up, something crashed, a limb or something over that way. <sighs> something crashed over there. A lot of people ask me, are you ever scared in the woods? Not really. Uh, one time I get scared is when the wind picks up and I start hearing limbs and trees and stuff like that moving. That's you know, I'm not worried about no animals or anything like that. There's nothing really out here that can kill me. Uh, except maybe the trees. It's the only time I get kind of nervous. <sighs> Every time I put a piece of wood on there, it just starts popping. Oh. Anyways, I'm going to try to get back to sleep. See y'all in a little bit. Good morning everybody oh, I didn't get much sleep last night <clears throat> that wind really picked up and a little scary it's all right though I woke up a few times fed the fire and I woke up right when the Sun was coming up and then fell back asleep and from then until you know about 20 minutes ago when I woke up it's probably the best stretch of sleep I had I was hoping to get a nice little uh, shot of the sun coming up just over the hill, but that's all right. Yesterday I cleaned this pan just from the creek. I took a little sand and kind of scrubbed it a little bit. <clears throat> but now it's bacon and egg time. While I was washing my hands, I figured I'd go ahead and get this filled up and get me some coffee going.
be good. Alright. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this handle here. in my pocket actually I'll probably just set it right in there hopefully I remember where I put it all right so we'll just do some scooping action here Well, I was going to eat it on a bagel, but it's all just kind of falling apart, so we're going to do it like this. Leave that to the turkeys. Whew. Clean the plate. Bacon and eggs and hot coffee in the morning. That's what I'm talking about. You know, I'm debating whether I want to tear all this down or just leave it. Normally, I like to leave no trace, but this is something I definitely use again. And there's still other people that use these this area. You know, I've built stuff before and come back and it was destroyed. Just little kids or... Hell, it might even be adults, who knows, but yeah, I've come back and everything was just tore down. But, that's alright if they do, it'll give me a reason to build another one. But, I mean, I, the problem last night wasn't so much that I was cold, because I wasn't that cold. Just that wind, it, it picked up and it did not let up for a while. I heard a couple limbs fall in the distance, so I had a little problem sleeping. But... That's okay. I normally go home and take a little nap. 
Well, I'm gonna get all this cleaned up real quick. I'm gonna go to the creek, clean this up, and then when I come back, we're gonna do the Q&A. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of signal out here, so this may take a minute. Come on. All right. All right, the first question is, and in advance, I appreciate everybody sending me questions. Uh, Amber Vegas asked, you're very knowledgeable about the outdoors. Is this something you grew up doing or did you learn it as a, an adult? Uh, kind of both when I was younger. Uh, me and my cousins, we all spent a lot of times out in the woods and, you know, we would uh, build shelters like this and hang out all day. Uh, my grandpa taught us a little bit about it, and then uh, as I got older, I didn't do it for a long time. You know, I started driving a truck, so I was over the road. Um, it's only the past two years or so that I've really been uh, trying to learn as much as I can. So, the past two years, I've really been doing this bushcrafty type stuff, but I've been out in the woods, you know, on and off my entire life. Thank you, Amber. Let's see, Joe asks, is your wife going to join you for a video? Is she into this stuff? Probably not. She's not into this stuff, and she's really shy, so I doubt it. Doug asks, is it hard to balance your job, family, and making videos? What other hobbies do you have? Uh, it can be, yeah. Um, I'm lucky I get three days off in a row, so it normally gives me two days to film and edit. And then I get that one day where I just hang out with the kids and do nothing. And then Wednesday I get home a little early, so that's another day. Um, we normally go over to the uh, sports center that's not far from here, and we play a little basketball and stuff like that. Uh, other hobbies, I play guitar. Um, I'm kind of a nerd. Like, I like anime and, you know, manga is it? I've always called it manga until somebody corrected me. It's manga. I like those things. It's kind of nerdy, but I've always liked that kind of stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Doug. Brandon Schroeder asks, how did you get into bushcrafting? What channels ins inspired or inspire you? Uh, bushcrafting, like I said, just on and off, just spending time out in the woods. Um, the, the channels that inspired me, I'd probably say Bill Dixon. Even though he's not really a bush crafter, uh, he does spend a lot of time out in the woods. Just type in Bill Dixon and uh, watch his videos. I think you guys will enjoy him. He does a lot of canvas tent videos. And uh, if you do go and subscribe to him, tell him I sent you. But I also like uh, Dave Canterbury. I've been watching him for years. So he's a big inspiration. Um... That's probably about it, I'd say. I, you know, I'm, I, there's a lot. I've been watching YouTube since it started. You know, there's been a lot of. I've been wanting to do YouTube since it started, which was 2006, and I only recently did it. You know, I kind of kicked myself in the butt that, you know, I didn't start sooner. You know, YouTube's kind of in a, in I guess a rough spot right now. I don't know, but I, it'll come out of it. It'll get better. I remember the first video I ever watched on YouTube. It was like late 2006. We had just bought, I saved up and I had just bought my first uh, desktop computer and we got internet for the first time. High speed internet anyways. And the very first video I ever watched, if I remember right, it was, the channel was Candy Rat Records and it was Andy McKee or Andy McGee, I can't remember, and it was drifting, and he's playing guitar, and he's smacking the guitar, and so just, if you want to see it, just type in Andy McKee drifting. I think that's what it is. If you get close to that, it'll probably show up. It's got millions of views. One thing I miss about the old YouTube is that, uh, you know, it used to be, it used to be so real. You know, you should just be a guy or a gal with a camera and, you know, they talked about what they were into and, you know, 
that's why I've talked to a few people and they're like, you know, I want to do YouTube, but I'm not sure what to do. I just tell them, what are you into? You know, chances are whatever you like, a bunch of other people like it and they're searching for it. Either through Google or they're searching through YouTube. Just make videos about it. You know, I don't know if I'm the one that's really qualified to give any advice on YouTube. Um, I'm still learning myself, so. But thank you for the question. Harvey asks, you said in an earlier video that you want to build a cabin someday. Do you have a general idea on where? Um, not really. Not yet, anyways. Uh, it's, it's probably going to be along down the line. I'm going to save up some money. It's going to take a while. Um, you know, I'm just going to keep working hard and keep making these videos, and then maybe one day I can do that. Buy me a little piece of land and, you know, build something on it. We'll see. Elizabeth Rodriguez asked, Pooter, what's your favorite movies and do you have a favorite celebrity? Uh, my favorite movie is Smokey and the Bandit. Um, I love Burt Reynolds. Rest in peace. Uh, he's one of my favorite celebrities. Um, I also love the movie L The Last Samurai and The Revenant with Leonardo DiCaprio. I can't say these words, man. I don't know why. I swear I'm not as dumb as I talk. But yeah, I'd probably say I also love Axl Rose. That's like that was like my idol growing up. He's probably not the best role model in the world, but you know, two Indiana boys, you know, that are at that time I was kind of mad at the world. I'm a lot different than I was, you know, 10 years ago. But you know, Axl Rose and Burt Reynolds. And I, there's I'm sure there's a lot more, you know. Thank you for the question. Gordon Fleming asks, Hey, Pooter Stomper, what's your favorite big home-cooked meal, and is it something you could cook at the cabin or at a camp out? Uh, my favorite home-cooked meal is probably either beef stew or cube steaks, cube steak cooked in cream of mushroom soup with corn and mashed potatoes. That's awesome. If you've never done that, uh, it's actually what I cooked in my very first canvas tent video. You just take uh, cube steak, cut it up in s smaller pieces, and uh, fry it up a little bit. And then once it gets almost done, pour some cream of mushroom soup on top of it. Cook it on the skillet, you know, until it's nice and tender. Make fix you up some corn and some uh, mashed potatoes. It's awesome. Thank you for the question. The last question is Granto Marshmallow asks, or is it Granto? Granto? It's one of those two. Sorry, buddy. Uh, my only question is, when are you going to come to Montana so we can go camping? Yeah, I love Montana. Uh, I've drove through it quite a few times. It's a beautiful country. Um, yeah, that'd be cool one day to go to Montana and actually get to stay and see what it's all about. Um, one thing that got me interested in Montana is I'm also a big Hank Jr. fan, and I guess he's got a, a cabin up there, and I've seen pictures of it. It's pretty cool. It looks beautiful up there. But that's all the questions I can answer because my battery is about to die, and I apologize if I did not get to yours. I'm going to uh, do these in the future. So uh, right now I'm going to finish gathering everything up. I'm going to hook my blanket up to my pack, make sure I get all my trash picked up, the fire is all the way out, so that's good to go. I'm going to take all my stuff back to the car. It's probably about a 15-minute hike. And then come back. Five minutes in is that tent with all them beer cans. I'm going to grab all that and throw it. I think I can fit it in the back seat. I'll throw it in there. Uh, I'll probably have to like put my jacket. or I'll probably put this blanket down. That way I don't get the car all dirty. But... Uh, it's not my car, it's my wife's car. She'll get mad if I get it all nasty. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw all that away. Once again, everybody, I want to thank you all for 10,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the support you've shown me over the past year. Um, if you guys would, I'd appreciate if you Leave a like on this video, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and also leave a comment, it really helps out. 
and uh, if you know anybody that might be into this kind of stuff you know share this video with them I sure would appreciate it but until next time hope you all have a good day take care and I'll see you on the next one